This is a demonstration of the calibration mode of the measurement system. I powered it back up and you can see that my caliper is at zero. If I, I have two spacer blocks here. I'll zero my caliper again. This first spacer block is 60 thou. Notice the caliper is reading 59 thou. The second spacer block I have is an 80 thou, and you can see that it's reading 78 and a half thou. That's just the basic accuracy of the caliper. Now, I can, by opening the jaws all the way and zeroing it, and closing them all the way and zeroing it, I move into the calibration mode and Here's my 60 thou spacer block. I measure it and it found it and did a calibration on that. Now it's ready for the next one. This is an 80 thou. Close the jaws. Okay, it sees 78 and a half. Open it up. It understands that block is 80. Now let's say I didn't like the 60 thou. I'm not sure I measured it right. I can do it again. The software is smart enough to replace this reading with the last one. Okay, so now I've got calibration between 60 and 80 thou. I could do more. I can do up to 50 blocks if I want. I'm going to get out of it. Now I am exiting calibration. And just to start at the bottom of the range of calibration. There's my 60 thou. Let's see. I gotta get above. Okay, now I'm there. So I measured my 60 thou and instead of getting 58 I can see that I'm getting 60 thou and the star means that it came through the uh, calibration software. Here's the 70 thou spacer block. I haven't used it calibration, but uh, you can see that this 70 thou read at 69 and a half thou. Let me measure it again, see if it's much different. Nope, 69 and a half thou. So anywhere between Seven, uh, 60 and 80 thou is now calibrated to these spacer blocks. I can still measure outside that range, but you see the circle comes back because I'm not calibrated in this range. So it just depends on what range you want to be in with the most accuracy. Now these data tables are erased when you lose power, and that was intentional because this accuracy doesn't necessarily persist for a long period of time there could be some drift so I ask the user to recalibrate in the range that they want to work uh, how close you get how, how tight a range you get uh, will come with experience I found that uh, if I calibrate uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3 inches then it's pretty good over that range so you pick up a, a little bit more accuracy by doing that so that's all for now.